Hey, today we're, I'm just making a quick video about these plastic cooling lines. This one's actually on an FG Falcon 2010 and quite often I come across people breaking them trying to get them off. Especially these ones over here. They have a, a deceptive clip on it. The front one's got the little C clip on it that just holds on. When you pop this little cover off you can see the little clip there and you can just pry it out with the screwdriver, make sure it doesn't fling off and lose it, that's all. I'll just show you how to get these off up here. Fitting with the uh, hoses or plastic hoses, whatever you want to call them, just removed like that. But quite often they leak, they've got an o-ring in there. And it's a little bit deceptive because there are these little tangs there that appear when you press them, like usual, that they loosen it and you can slide it out. So whether they've deliberately engineered it this way, quite often I find these come in damaged. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you actually press this down, it actually tightens on it. Well, there's a close-up of it there. And if you have a look, that whole piece actually slides up and down. You can see that. And if I squeeze those two end bits there, you can see it actually tightens even more. It works opposite of how you'd think. Most people press it, try and pull it off, and they're actually locking it a lot tighter. So what you actually have to do is slide that up like that, and that will actually open, open these out, if you can see that. See, so I'm just put, sliding it down with my thumb there. Okay. And if you actually slide it, slide that up like that it'll actually release and pop off that fitting if i actually push that down it should just pop out grab a screwdriver and instead of pressing it i'm actually going to push it down like that and that just you can see I'm pushing it down that way with the screwdriver and that'll just, if I don't flick the camera out of the way, it just loosens it to come out. Should just pop out. There you go. There we go. You can see that's where the O-ring runs on there and that little clip just hooks over the top of that and that's what we're trying to get off so if you try and press it down the harder you press the more it's going to be locking on there to get it back in you just slide it in click clicks in there it's a good idea to change these o-rings and putting them back is just a matter of just slowly and evenly just pushing it down and until you hear the click see that that'll move up and down a little bit but it won't come off and these have the little C clips inside and you just when you're pushing it in you try and bend it so it goes in evenly there we go and we just put that protective clip back on as well front one job's done all back on. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Thank you for watching and don't forget to throw me a beer.